So here are two mice currently in my top 5. Zowie EC2A at number 1, Fnatic Flick G1 at number 5. But that doesn't mean the EC2A is better than the Flick G1, it just means I aimed better with the EC2A. I'm going to go through the differences now, so hopefully you can decide which one is right for you. Here's a quick button check so you can hear the difference between them. Overall, I'd rate the Flick's buttons much higher. Both use the 3310 sensor, however, the implementation seems better in the Zowie. There is almost no liftoff height, while there is a considerable liftoff height in the Fnatic Flick. The good news is that they can fix this with the firmware. So the sensor is great in both, they're also about the same weight. More important is the shape. Here you can see the difference in sizes. The grip width on the EC2A is about 5.5cm, and it's about 6cm on the Flick G1. The width to length ratio is about 2 to 1, so these are well-balanced, comfortable mice. Where they really differ is in the overall shape. The EC2A looks plain and simple, but if you look closely, it's probably the best design there is. It has modest grooves in the buttons and just enough curve to be comfortable for your thumb. It's a safe shape with plenty of room for your fingers on the other side too. You could say the same about the Flick G1, except for one very obvious difference. The sides go inward toward the top on the Flick, whereas on the Zowie, there is a subtle ledge that allows better grip when lifting the mouse. Without a ledge, your fingers are relying entirely on how much grip is in the material of the mouse. With the ledge, you have a combination of material grip, along with the ledge. Next is the hump in the back and slope toward the buttons. The Flick G1 has a lower hump, but the buttons seem to feel a fair bit lower. This makes it harder to fingertip grip, but it's good for palm and claw. The EC2A seems good for all grips, Again, the shape is subtle, but it's almost perfectly designed. In fact, the shape and balance of the EC2A is exactly why it's at number one. Because with a good sensor, that's all I really need to play well. You might be thinking, well, this is an easy choice then, but it's not. Because there is more to a mouse than the shape. I actually don't use the EC2A unless I'm playing seriously. I'd actually rather use the Flick G1. The reason for this is the Flick has nicer materials, on-run switches and a smoother, much nicer scroll wheel and its side buttons are in another league. I've said many times the travel and loose feeling of the Zowie side buttons is really bad. The Flick also has software, so you can actually change the settings like LED and what buttons do. The EC2A is a bare minimum mouse, meant for competitive players who don't care for the extra features. They say no software is better, but I haven't found a difference, and there are many times when software really helps. If I had to choose just one and I was serious about winning, I'd pick the EC2A. But if I wanted a balance between general use and gaming, I'd choose the Flick. But that's for FPS games. For MOBAs and RTS and others, I'd say the Flick is probably better all around. It's really up to you though. They're both top mice in their own ways. That's why they're in my top 5. You have to decide which shape is better for you, which size, which buttons, and so on. I'm glad I get to switch between both, because they're two of my favourite mice. There's no such thing as a perfect mouse, but these are amazing. Hope that helps in your decision, subscribe for more mouse reviews and gaming videos, click the links on screen to watch the individual reviews, like this one and I'll catch you in the next.